Hey guys, and welcome to Tantrum House Studio 3. I'm Will Meadows. And I'm Intern Dan, and today we're taking a look at War of Heavens by Cale Baroni. In War of Heavens, you can choose to start out as a human fighting against the light or dark side, or you can be the light or dark fighting against the humans as you fight for the honor of your own lord. War of Heavens is a two to four player competitive minis game with dice and cards. You'll be battling it out against one another. We've got a prototype copy of it, so let's take a look at how it's played. To set up the game, players will take their character sheet, get their own dice and money, and mark their starting health. Then, form the Lord deck by putting a Light and Dark Lord card into the deck, and put the rest of the cards that go out around the table. On their turn, players can travel, attack, quest, explore, shop, trade, or rest, but you can only choose three actions per turn. And some choices use up all three of your actions at once. If you choose to travel, you can then move up to two spaces on the board, but you have to draw an encounter card for every space you move. If your encounter is a battle, you will lose the rest of your actions and spend the rest of your turn in the battle, so you have to choose your actions wisely. An encounter battle takes place by rolling custom dice according to your character's sheet and any equipment he has. The opponent will also roll dice to fight back. If you roll three swords while your opponent rolls two shields, that means you got one hit, and you get to roll 1d6 to determine how much damage was dealt. If you win the battle, you receive a reward, such as gold, which allows you to buy items at the blacksmith. You can also use the battle action if you're on the same space as another player, but this time there is no stalemate and it's a fight to the end. If your character drops to zero health, they are knocked out. Human players must return to an inn and the light or dark players must return to their temples and recover health. If you're a human, you can go to one of the blacksmith shops to purchase equipment. These items will give you health potions, extra shields, or weapons. If you're light or dark, you can spend your whole turn by praying at one of your temples. This allows you to add one of your lord cards to the lord deck, which gives your side a better chance at winning the final battle. After the third age, you will flip the board and draw a card from the lord deck to determine who you will face. Humans will have to face the winning lord and any players who were on that lord's side. Light or dark players in opposition to the winning lord will join the humans. The final battle will commence in a dice slog fest and the winning team will become the champions. And then the player to have gathered the most victory points wins. So we're looking at a dungeon crawl type of experience, basically. You've got your, uh, your dice, your character, you're trying to build them up, get as much armor and swords and additional weapons as you can so that when you go to face that final battle at the end, you're as decked out as you can possibly be. Yeah, I really like that. And and talking about equipment, you know, you have six different piles of cards that you lay out. They're shuffled, so they're different. There are different locations to go to the blacksmith on the board. So every game's going to have a slightly different feel. It's not like if you go to location one, you're always going to say, see the same things. Um, and as the human players, you have the ability to go there and say, hey, you know what? I'm not a certain character, so I can't pick this up, but why don't you go over there and you can pick that up? And I like that variability and kind of working together. I really like the look of it. It's got a really nice table presence. This is obviously all prototype components that we're looking at. Uh, the dice were 3D printed. I don't know what those will look like in the final round, but the minis for it are really cool. Uh, some of them are different sizes, so I don't know what that'll mean yeah. for the final components, but everything that we've played with here is just really beautiful, really detailed. Uh, the card art is pretty nice. I think there might be two different artists involved in it because I noticed some different different in the illustration style. The equipment is really, really cool. Like I like yeah. the art style that they used on that Definitely. a bunch. And being able to deck out your character in preparation for that final battle feels cool when you're playing that part of the game. Yeah, and when you get to that final battle, you reveal the lord that you're fighting against. And um, when you, it kind of differs depending on how many people you're playing with. When you have two people, you're both going to be humans fighting against whichever lord comes out. When you have three, you add in another light or dark, and four, you add in another light or dark. Uh, so that as, as you get more players, your experience can change because now you have some light and some dark in there fighting on behalf of their lord. Um, it, made it, it made it fun, a different experience. I will say, you know, I played as the Priest of Light, and I felt like sometimes... The turns were a little bit slow because I was spending all three actions to pray, and that's all I did. Um, but overall, I felt like it was pretty engaging because even if you know it's not Will's turn, 
he's probably rolling dice for whatever I'm encountering. Um, so it did keep him involved, even off turn. Yeah, we did run into a couple of just small issues with the rules. I hope that the final version of the game will have all those things smoothed out. There were some things that were a little vague and we weren't sure what to do. Uh, some of the dice rolling felt a little bit off balance as well. Uh, when you get to that final bad guy and he's got 20 dice to throw at you and then you've each collected 10, that final battle can be a little bit of a slog fest as you're just you know trying to slowly wear each other down. I think if you get the right combination of weapons and shields going into that, it helps you a lot, yeah. but you can end up in a little bit of a stalemate situation where you're just rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and nobody's really kind of getting that final kill blow that they need. If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, though, definitely check it out on Kickstarter. Uh, War of Heavens will be coming soon. Be sure to scroll through their campaign and look at all their art, find out what all the pledge goals and different levels are, uh, and then be sure to subscribe to Tantrum Rounds. Thank you guys so much for joining us this time. Starting. starting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. And you're rolling additional dice on top of that. So if you're a dice guru and you like that kind of thing, this might be your type of game. And that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say next. <coughs> they were taking a look at <laughs> War of Heavens. That's it. For uh, the honor of his lord. Hell of hell of. <laughs> War of Heaven.